In this video, I would like to review the Microsoft Service Pro computer, especially for designers. Out of the box, this is what you get. It's a very light, nice computer. It's a perfect size to jot down ideas or to make sketches. Also out of the box, you're getting this pen here, which I think is okay. It feels a little bit like drawing on glass. And therefore, I purchased this bamboo Wacom pen, uh, which I'm going to review in another video, but it's an excellent pen and I highly recommend you get one of these. Also, I recommend you should get one of these keyboards. Now they have two styles. One is like where you hit like a surface and this is where the keys actually travel. And I highly recommend this one here. It's like $110 and worth every penny. Feels really well to type on. Now the nice thing is you simply click it into place and you're ready to go. And it lights up at night through the ambient light it senses and it lights up the keyboard. Excellent feature and I highly recommend to have one of these. Now to draw, you can either hold it like this with the kickstand just go about. You can also stand, put it on your, on your desk. You can work or you can draw just like this. Now, why do I recommend this one for designers? Well, because it is an actual computer. It's not just a tablet. You can load all your favorite programs like Photoshop, Illustrator, Corel, Painter, you name it. You put it on this computer and it is fast. I don't want to get into all the details of how fast the processor it has and you can read this everywhere, but it is very responsive and that's why I recommend this computer. Let me show you. I'm going to load a few programs that you're probably familiar with and you see how it feels and you see the, the feedback and you decide for yourself. I personally, I give this computer five stars. I think it is an excellent tool for every designer. Of course, Everything has a little bit of disadvantages and I'd like to point out a few minor things about this computer that I don't, don't like, but overall, I think every designer should have one of these. It's excellent. Here we are at the Windows 8.1 desktop. You might be familiar with this operating system. It's very easy to use. You can slide back and forth and you can see all your different programs that you have on your computer. As you load more programs, they're going to be added on. We can rearrange them and so forth. So the typical operating system. Now one program I'd like to show you is Fresh Paint. It comes free with this computer and it's really excellent. Let's say you are a designer and you need to be inspired. You just click on to inspire me. It automatically finds a keyword and you can scroll through literally thousands of images. You click one. You can rearrange it however you want. And once you have it, you, it's, it's automatically in your digital paper and you can start drawing right over it. Now watch this. As you draw, it actually mixes the paint from the image into your drawing. Oh, well, that's a really cool feature. Let's say I take this brush, I can make the brush bigger by clicking here several times. Now you can use the finger or the pen. It really doesn't matter. Again. Oh, nice. Now that's a nice feature. Now let's start off with a new blank paper. Now well, let's see, we take this brush here, we grab some orange, click ones here. You go about it I like watercolor kind of really nice. There's some, you see, it keeps track of your older or drawings that you don't didn't save. It saves it automatically. Well, this is something I did a while back. I just jotted down some ideas that I had, and you can select the pen, and you go about it, and you click back. It'll automatically save your painting. 
to close, you slide down and you're out of that program. Now another program I like to use is called Sketchbook Pro. Clicking that, did you notice how fast that loads? It's really a joy. So here I have more brushes that I can pick from. It's a really nice tool. Uh, if you're a 2B uh, pen and I go about drawing something and it feels a lot like a really like a 2B pencil. The more I press down, the harder and darker the paint becomes. So I can sketch it. It's a little bit difficult. I'm drawing it from the side. Now, what's nice about this program is you can add another layer. You take a, an airbrush, you pick your color, and you draw paint on that new layer. Let me do something fancy here. Let's move this layer down below the pencil layer. You're most likely familiar with this from Photoshop. And you can now very quickly clean this up. So you see, this is something you could not do on a regular piece of paper. And that's why I really love to use this program. It's a real joy. Click in the start button, you're back here again. Now let me load Photoshop. Do you see how fast that loaded? It's a little bit difficult from the side here. Photoshop, I don't like too much to work on on this tablet because the icons become very small, which is of course good because you get more real estate for the paper, but it is not as responsive as Sketchbook because it has a lot more features and therefore it slows down a little bit. It is very good, however, to touch up photos and do your typical photo retouching work. I think the power connector could be done a bit nicer. In fact, these edges here are very sharp and they mess up a little bit the, the socket for the power connector. So it doesn't always snap in nicely. I think the finish could be a little bit better too. As you can see here, the paint has been chipped off and I take pretty good care of my computer. But it's like at the edge here, for some reason, it lost the paint there. These are some of the minor flaws this computer has. They don't really bother me, but it might bother you. But overall, I give it five stars. I love to work with this product. It gets a job done. It's fast, it's responsive, and that's really all that counts to me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.